Right, but we're going to begin with the news and the news this morning is a blockbuster settlement in the lawsuit accusing Fox News of airing lies related to the 2020 election. Fox and Dominion voting systems avoided a trial agreeing to one of the largest settlements in any defamation case in American history. The voting machine company will collect more than seven hundred and eighty seven million dollars. However, Fox News will not have to make an apology on its air. Scott McFarland was at the courthouse when the deal was announced, and he joins us now from Wilmington, Delaware, where the trial had been set to take place. Scott, good morning. Tony, this was the ultimate last-minute settlement. The jury was seated. Opening statements were set to begin when both sides blinked and agreed to an eye-popping number. Avoiding a trial that would have turned Fox News's biggest stars into star witnesses, the company will cut a $787.5 million check to Dominion Voting Systems. The president's lawyers alleging a company called Dominion. Which Fox they was say accused of knowingly airing conspiracy theories and baseless claims falsely linking Dominion to a scheme to flip votes during the 2020 election. So much for those claims that voter fraud never happens. Of course it happens. They knew it happened. That's despite evidence, including internal messages in which Fox executive Suzanne Scott warned challenging Trump's bogus claims could hurt ratings. Today's settlement of $787,500,000 represents vindication and accountability. Lies have consequences. And the settlement included a public statement from Fox, which Tuesday night said it acknowledged the court's rulings finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. But there was no requirement of an on-air apology or retraction, and Fox attorneys declined to speak to reporters outside the courthouse. The folks at Fox are big boys and girls, and they can say whatever statement they want in the future to recognize what they did and what this court found. But we think that the dollar figure that they agreed to today speaks for itself. The settlement spares Dominion from having to put its fate in the hands of 12 jurors and from years of likely appeals if the case went to trial. They get an acknowledgement that this was wrong and they get to move on. And in that sense, this is more accountability than people have seen from Fox News. Dominion still has a lawsuit pending against Newsmax in the same courthouse in front of this same judge for claims made after the 2020 election. And Fox is still facing a defamation suit from voting machine company Smartmatic. That suit seeks $2.7 billion and could yield an even larger sum. Gail? Mm. All right, Scott. So more to come for Fox News for sure.